and um, we'd like to thank you very, very much for the use of your property. And um, fan sings for feedback, can't sing anything. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'd like to just make another announcement for you while you're here. I'd like to introduce Dennis Hewitt. Now, Dennis Hewitt comes from the far north, along the Nui. He's been here for a number of years. And in fact, if it hadn't been for Dennis Hewitt, the New Zealand military vehicle practice that would never have started. And that would have been back in about 1970-something. And, uh, and due to a variety of reasons, we've not necessarily had Dennis in our midst, but um, it was through his um, efforts and things that the, the show actually got off the, off the ground. And in fact, it's good to see him back into the system again and hope he spends more time with him. Well, I've so. taken the membership round with me. I'd just like to say what happened was many years ago I owned an old quad and I saw a pair of feet sticking out from under it one day and I looked down from my kitchen and there was my truck with these strangers' feet. It turned out to be a friend of mine, Lance Paganini. He and I started off talking about club and we joined the military vehicles. We formed the first military vehicle section of a vintage car club in the world. That, that's what we were told through the Wangarei Club. Then we called a meeting because we knew of Ross, uh, Lance knew the Ross, um, Robin Allen, and various others that have been here today. And uh, we called a meeting at Kaiwaka. Through that, it was decided that we'd form our own club. And with Ross's help, uh, we had a thing called the Battle Buggy Jamboree at Motat. And that was something I'd organised with Motat. Then we got annual uh, Easter meetings going and I used to attend, I had various vehicles. But unfortunately, as Ross said, the change in circumstances and I had to get rid of them. Fortunately, I'd like to say that the Confederate Air Force has finished up with two of my vehicles, an MW Bedford and a uh, um, Chev Cargo. So I'm quite wrapped that they're in the hands of people who are looking after them. The other one, one of my other trucks has gone to a, a record, basically a wreckage yard who's got other military vehicles. Whether he'll ever do anything with it, I don't know. But uh, I've, since about 1990, I wasn't in a position where I could even afford to come to the club meetings and I sort of got bypassed and started playing trains instead. And, but then I've been sort of saying, I must come to a club meeting again and see how it's going because I'd sort of heard that it some places said, oh, they didn't want much law to do with it, but I'm really wrapped when I come here and see what's going on here. It's been brilliant to see that the club is supported not only by club members, but by all of you people who've come along and done your thing here, and particularly the gentleman that's uh, provided the, the situation to be able to do it. I'll be back next year, I'll tell you that. And if I've got the money and if I've got the room, at the moment, if I bought a military vehicle, I'd get strangled because I'd have to kick not only my car out of the carport, my motor trolley out of the carport, and my car wife's car off the side of the road. And I think she'd complain somewhere that she'd have to work further down the road to get a car. So I don't know if I'll get one there or not. <laughs> I'd probably get all fired up and buy one again. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for... Uh, Dave asked, Ellery asked me to come. I'm absolutely wrapped that I could get here. And it's been a brilliant weekend for me. I'm really thrilled. Thank you very much. Yeah. One last one before we go, guys. Here's to Operation Farmyard. Hey! 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 hey. From all the genres, you've been bloody awesome. It wouldn't happen without you. I just provided the space. You provided all the intelligence that went into making it happen. This goes on.